Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw, and the Eevee event is underway inside of Pokemon Unite. Because of that, I was given a mission to play a ton of games with Espeon, and I thought it would be fun to play those games with stored power. So in this video, you're gonna see two stored power builds, stored power Future Sight and stored power Psybeam. I honestly like them both for different reasons. Future Sight gives you resets in combat that you can use to chain KOs, while Psybeam, of course, gives you the ability to secure last hits on tons of Pokemon and also chain some crazy damage into your opponents. I'd love to know in the comments which build you like more for Espeon. Check it out. Oh, and while I'm here, I think I should just talk to you briefly about the boost emblems I use for this. Seven black, six green. I'm using something I called S Speedy on, and this gives you 238 extra move speed. So I'm just using this for a ton of repositioning in combat. You still get seven black, you still get six green. You lose a little special attack, you don't get as much HP, but I really like the extra move speed this provides, and I've kind of been a move speed nut lately. All right, heading to the bottom path here. Gonna go stored power with some Psy Beam action. Got an interesting squad. Absol in the center. A little Dragapult action. Should be a fun one. No real defender. Well, we've got Gudra, but Gudra's kind of a weird defender, right? It's not like a, it's like a brawling defender, which can be good sometimes. Let me stabilize here. Got that. We almost got our level four already. Mm -hmm. Got it. You just gotta kinda time that right. It's guesswork. It's a little bit of luck. Sometimes a lot of bit of luck. See what we can do here. Ah, Garchomp. They get all that. Can't really do anything with that. His health's getting pretty low, though. Gonna have to run. Ooh. Get him! Gotcha, buddy. You dove too deep. Oh, maybe you did too. What are you doing? All right, almost. Almost a double right there. No one's coming center, which is unfortunate. I don't fight well here until I'm level six, so I can't really do much. Garchomp can just take all that, yeah. I guess I'll have to ping center. It looks like our Absol's not coming back. Or, sorry, I'll have to take center after our Dragapult pinged it. Absol's just staying top. We got our side beam now. I'm gonna walk up, see if I can help with this fight. It's... Nope, our team didn't go. If Absol or Dragapult uh, continues that fight there, I can probably walk in and do some damage at some point. Guy's just standing here. Where's our Sableye? Almost got him. Oh, we went for it. Close. Absol picks up a double KO. That's nice. We're level seven, a little ways away from eight. So we're not gonna have our Unite here. Looks like our team's doing pretty well top though. Sableye is kind of peeking out. He's here-ish. Got that. Nice secure with our side beam. We go down here. And somehow we lose top. How did we lose top? They only have one guy up there. Jeez. All right. Our team just botches that one. Fair enough. I 
point, I think we just let that walk. Okay. Gotcha, buddy. Okay. You can get him? No. Walking up to fight Garchomp here. He's low. Gotcha. Greedon scoring top. I'm gonna try to help this. Gotcha. They both go down. Skull's got 12 in it. Eh. Do I break here? It gives us good positioning for the next fight. I'll try, but I'm okay if we don't. Nah, somebody's here. Fair enough. I'm just gonna go back and farm. We don't give him catch-up experience right now. Looks like our team is concerned with top. So... We can go there. We might not even need to. There's four of our allies there. Civilized scoring down here. Got it. Stolen! Hopefully our team can get this. Let's go! Nice. Ooh. Gardevoir leaving on one. Sableye's gonna run bottom again, right? I think he's probably just gonna do that all game. Pretty common play. Just go to the path where nobody's at and mess with them. Not bad. Going for a gather top? Are they sending the crew top? I can't see. It is our tier one, so it's an easier goal for them to break. I'm level 13 ish. Green and scoring. I can walk there. No. Doesn't look like we got much of a fight anywhere. Really nothing to fight over here. Well, he was right. Keep the pressure on, dude. There's more of them than there are of us. I can't fight them. Chunked us. Bottom is the objective, if we can go for it. They're not ripping yet. Hit him with a few big side beams. Unfortunately, not able to take him down. Absol running to make a score. This actually might happen. Strangely enough. No. Didn't work out. It was a pretty wild play. I don't think he should have made it, but there is a possibility that no one stops him there. Just 50 is such a long score in a moment like that. It's going to be really hard, honestly. I need some vision. He's done. Push, guys. This 
Sylveon running back and forth here. Goes Garchomp. Nice. They used some Unite moves before the fight. That Garchomp Unite was super late. And that, I think, was a big reason we were able to make that happen there. We were just kind of able to dance around them that whole time. Up with some good damage, had some good secures. Didn't fight super well as a squad the whole time, but we came together a few moments and we did fight. They went pretty well. GG's team. GG's, what did we do? We did 83k, most damage in the match. Stored power does a lot of damage. Hey, welcome to the midway point between these two matches. Did you know that if you have made it to this midway point here, you are in the top 55 percentile or 45 percentile of people who watch my videos? That's right, you're pretty impressive. Let everybody know in the comments how impressive you are. All right, we're gonna head to the top path here, it looks like with Greedent, as we're going to play ourselves a little Stored Power Espeon. You know, after the Psy Shock nerfs happen, maybe it's time to play Stored Power. Oh, I actually have a, I actually have X Attack on. That was not on purpose, but it's okay for this build. It's not the best. I'd rather probably reposition with something else, but it's fine. Pedrillo's gonna look to stack here. Almost got him. Ooh. Beautiful. Gonna get my level four. Got my stored power. This is bad for Dodrio. I don't think he makes it out of here. No. We're getting jungled, but we're doing okay. Careful, greedy boy. Doing a little damage to him. We don't have great secure here. We almost got Cinder, though. But just kind of using the edge of my stored power range to make sure that I only hit one there to see if I could get enough damage on Cinder. But we didn't do too bad, and Greedon got its level 5, so... Actually, not bad at all. Gotta run away from this Dodrio a little bit. Oh, we almost got the KO again. He's going to have to run. Cinder stayed. Their jungle stayed top to deal with us. Wild. All right. That's great. They're going to be slow. Oh, oh, did I get him? Oh, I got him. I got him with the growl. Beautiful. Beautiful. Need some help, Char. Come here. Come here, buddy. Where are you going? Oh, I guess he's going to go try to steal their jungle, maybe? We're going to do Future Sight for this one. Even though I think Psy Shock's great, Future Sight's also pretty fun, and it works pretty well against Dodrio. Kind of shuts down Dodrio's mobility. Got you, buddy. Hey, Nasola Beam. We're doing all right, though. We're level seven already. If I just use stored power just kind of on the edge of my uh, range here, I can really target who I want, essentially, which is often going to be Cinderace and Dodrio if I can set up the right fights. Oh, no, I'm coming. Should be a double. Yep. Got that extra stored power there too. Using it to just start ripping this apart. Blissey's here. We're gonna have to be careful of that. Got it. Just had to time that right. Because Blissey can definitely seal that with an egg. Dodrio's walking. Looks like he's running top. Hopefully I can make it in time. I got 43% on my Unite. He's going to score again. There we go.
Ooh. Oh, Cinder unites. I gotta run. I gotta run. Leave me alone, birds. Leave me alone, birds. She got united by a Cinderace. We got 87% on our Unite, so it's pretty close. A lot of damage onto Cinder right there. Oof. Can I get this before I get KO'd? Oh, it's gonna be close. I go down here though. I gotta get out. I have no health and a solar beam just destroys me here. Hopefully they can get that. I gotta walk bottom. Woo! Barely making it out. Sword power is super fun, man. I wish I had more mobility. I wish I had either X speed or, uh, or an eject button at this point, but still, we're having some fun with it. Looking for that Dodrio. Okay, we get that. We might be able to make a score happen real quick if no one comes down. Yep, quick one. Score! Oh my goodness, they let us all score. Nice. They could be running towards our tier one over here. We don't see them anywhere, so I've got to assume they're either up here farming or they're moving through our center going towards our tier one. Looks like more of them were up there farming than I expected because nobody came down. All right. Good news for us. We're at 330. We can we can use the unite here. That wasn't, you know, there wasn't a lot of value there, but I know I can use that and get it before, you know, before Ray. So I might as well just pick up a KO. Could use a few wild Pokemon to be fair. Our team should be able to secure this top easy. Nobody even could make it there. So it's a nice secure for us. Got my upgraded future site. I'm gonna help with this fight real quick. Nice job, team. I actually got an objective bottom. I don't know if anyone can make it there in time, though. I'm just going to reset my health. We got 75% on Gudra's Unite. My Unite's back. They have not begun ripping yet. Our team's actually in trouble top. I'm not sure what they're up to over there. We kind of need to make our way up there. Char goes down. It's got a big timer, too. Give me some nice resets right there. The healing on these two is just going to be insane. We kind of need to back away from this for a sec. Our Zarina is ripping for some reason. Can't imagine why, honestly. It's a horrible play. What is it doing? Hit it! Oh no! Why didn't you hit Gudra? All right, Greedon gets it. Um, for some reason, Zarina was hitting, and then it was full health, and then it recalled. Char's back though, and it has a unite. So, Cinder, we gotta get Cinder. Get Cinder. You gotta get Cinder Ace right now. 
There you go, Zarina. There you go, buddy. Cinderace is the target there for sure. Ray's at half. Dodria's gonna make a sneaky score. Greedon will stop him. Is Ray resetting? Hopefully it resets. Okay. Double KO. I'm gonna try to run points in the center really quick. Ray's not going down. Cinderace goes right over my head. Nice! And that's the game. GG. Greeton trying to score too. Might even make it happen. Oh! Let's go, buddy! Nice job. A little bit of a wonky end fight, but we had some pretty good moments there. We got we got eight KOs, eight assists. Everyone's actually putting up some numbers on the team too. Everyone was contributing to all the fights. That was nice. It's nice having the team all together like that too. Felt like we were fighting as a unit more. And those are the matches that you do a lot better in, right? The ones where you actually fight as a team. We were way ahead on score too. GG's. MVP? MVP status? Sure, GG buddy. MVPs, and uh, we almost did 100k. Almost did 100k, and we didn't have a ton of prolonged fights throughout that match. So there you go. A little stored power Espeon for you with this new emblem setup that I've been liking a lot. I, not even the right held item. I kind of wanted a reposition item, but there you go. Stored power Espeon. Is it back? You be the judge. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I love you very much, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.